In two minutes 24, Jamie Winkup is 18th. Although he's got green tyres on, He'll be hurt in the traffic. He won't get out in front because Winterbottom will stop him from coming yeah, out. But we get, we're going to have to watch the push and shove because they're going to try and wedge the car into the queue. Exactly. So good we luck. need to, yeah, the good luck because there's not going to be too many others out there. He and Lowndes are going to have to jam into the queue from the inside lane and everybody else will be nose to tail and try and shove them to the back of the queue. And we would not let them out at all. No, because they're not exactly courteous when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm just hanging here. I reckon it's going to be the best bit of action on the track in the next 10 minutes. And up ahead of me, I don't know if you can see, there's a, there's a bollard that defines the, the pit lane, the fast area of the pit lane, if you like. So they've sort of got to get around that bollard so there's not room for two cars. And I can just see these guys talking down here. There's no one too keen to let them in. And, and Craig Lowndes right behind us. So this is going to be great to watch. Could be the best overtaking manoeuvre of the day. <laughs> Here's another thing to consider. If the timing monitor stays as it, as it is, Alex Davison on pole, Mark Winterbottom next to him. They were face to face last time we saw them in New Zealand. They're exchanging details for Christmas cards. I think. So this is the gamesmanship, folks. If you're in the fast lane, you do not have to let the guys out. So I can promise you, if, if we were in the fast lane, there is no way that guy gets out. And he got and out in front of him. No, I can't believe that. That blows me away. Competition is such that you do not let that happen. <laughs> Listen to you. Oh, man. Somebody get him a race oh, suit. I think he's saying, Matthew, that if we were coming out of the pit apron, he wouldn't have let us in no. there. You get the impression he wants to beat you? <laughs> Serious settle down. What's Serious. this? Oh, my God. Straight through. No, 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 no. Gentlemen, no, no, you go first. No, 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 please. Please, no, no, you go. Look at all the way. My God. <laughs> no, no, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to jump in with the guy with the check, Jamie Winkup. First of all, mate, that was a magnificent effort after all the hoo-ha going out to come out under pressure in traffic and do the lap. You must be pleased with that effort. Yeah, thank you, Lyco. It was um, a little bit expensive. We used half our tyre bank then, but um, yeah, we, we had a, we're on a, we're on a very, very good lap until that, uh, the, that red flag. So. Got to ask you in commentary, we were debating how the hell you were going to get into the line here. We thought the whole lot would just lock you out. Yeah. And who let you in? Mark Winterbottom. Yeah, yeah, I give him the wave. Thanks very much, mate. <laughs> so he was... Uh, he was good, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we've left all our drama at, uh, at, uh, at New Zealand and, yeah, we start fresh this weekend. Well, we're thinking hopefully you haven't, mate, yeah. so uh, we look forward to the race I know, today. I know you'd like to ramp it up, but that's all right. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I'm down here with Frosty and uh, having a bit of a laugh about that with uh, Jamie Wincup and Mark Larkin, but uh, uh, they're, they're a bit shocked that you let Wincup into the line like you did and he gave you a wave and thought it was very kind of you. Did he give me a wave? <laughs> well, he said he did, but I don't know. I didn't see it, but he, it might have been something else. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might have been a one-finger wave. I'm not sure, but um, no, I just wanted to do a lap. I, I didn't even know he was there, to be honest. Let whatever car in. I'm a courteous driver. You're, you're too nice, I'm mate. A courteous driver. He definitely gave you a wave, apparently. <laughs> That's very decent. That's very nice. I, I feel fantastic. Oh, we, we're disappointed by that, <laughs> but anyway. Hey, uh, also, uh, you, you, you weren't overly happy with your qualifying then. You lost a bit of time in that last corner uh, on your fastest lap. I made a meal of it. At, um, time gain loss on the steering wheel is great, but it's also can be quite nasty. And uh, I was on a good lap, but definitely for P2 there, and um, absolutely made a meal of it. So I'm off six. So I pay the price and long race. We'll see how we go. Little tip: turn that thing off for tomorrow. <laughs> turn that uh, loss gain thing off and just get rid of it, mate, and concentrate on the job, eh? It makes you excited. I love looking at the minus until it goes positive when you make a mistake. So good I'll, on you. I'll learn. <laughs>